Kennedy, founder of my Gov Tracks. I'm here today with uh, John Barker, and we're going to do some uh, some searching on my Gov Tracks to find an incumbent on an opportunity. Yeah, right on. Well, thanks, Lakin. Lakin is an outstanding human and an even better businessman. So, um, we uh, we met through Reddit uh, randomly. I think he he posted like I, I was bored one night, and I said, "What's everybody working on?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm building a SaaS product for um, government federal government contracting intelligence." I was like, "Holy moly! I got to go talk to." To Lakin, and so we we reached out and kind of this is probably I don't know the fifth or tenth time that we've actually talked and somewhere in there yeah I'm an early adopter of my Gov Track, so get in while it's hot. Uh, it saves me probably 20, 25 hours a month, so my ROI is off the charts there. So we're gonna do a little quick share screen here. Uh, settings. Ah, okey dokey, entire screen. Let me get back to it. All right. All right. So, Lakin, you, you're familiar with this, I'm sure, right? That's right. All right. So, I know that we have a little bit different philosophies on, on what we'd like to look for, but uh, in, in the simplest terms, um, I'm, I like to keep things local, as you can see with my hat. So, I'm just looking for any kind of uh, opportunities in my home state of North Carolina here. So, but you can you can select all sorts of different types depending on the industry that you're in different kind of uh you know specialty that you're in i just like to do a search all let's do that um so i got 10 pages uh what are there about six of these so there's at least 60 opportunities and these would be in the uh pre-award phases right like some of the rfis and sources saw it is that right that's lakin right. that's right yep all right and um so the ones in red are the ones with the more short fuses the ones in orange are kind of the medium or yellow and the medium range and then the greens are, what is it like a couple of weeks? Yeah, greater um, greater than two weeks out. Yep, for the deadline. okay. So there was one the other day I was looking at uh, for a friend of mine in Camp Lejeune. It was pest control. Let's see where our pest control. Okay, this particular one. So one of the beautiful things about this product is you can just bang in on this hyperlink and it goes directly to the sam.gov um, citation. So let's take a look at that. All right. Uh, why did it? Oh, I guess I have logged out. I was inactive for a few seconds. So let's go back in there. I should have my MFA already. All right. And it doesn't. All right. Well, this was a big fail. Let me go back to my Gov tracks again and redo that because that's. Wait. Can I just keep hitting back? I can keep hitting back. All right. Let's try that in a different screen. Hide that. Where's my pest control? All right. Let's open in a different window. Tip for next time, right? Open in That's a different right. window That's so right. you can keep the ledger in front of us. Let's do, we don't need that anymore. So we have the citation there. We have the specific uh, thing in SAM. So we got the navies doing the purchasing. The uh, Contracting office is the NAVFAC, Atlanta Command, uh, Mid-Atlantic, uh, Naval, NAVFAC, basically. So one of the things that's very, very fascinating is these codes, right? So, um, like, and what do you know the difference between the NACE code and the PSC code? Of course, yeah. So the NACE code, right, we're talking about how the company identifies or what type of company specifically the government's looking for. And the PSC code is the uh, product or service code, which is more specific to, um, you know, what the good or service is that the company provides. Spot on. So, yeah, and this one here is a, is a small business set aside. It doesn't look like it's a specific one for a hub zone or an 8A or a service disabled veteran business, et cetera. So, so using these codes, then we can kind of go into uh, another really awesome uh, no-cost website called USA Spending. So when you go there, it looks like this. If you know these codes, you can go to these advanced searches. Uh, let's take a quick look. So I want to kind of scroll. These government contracts are typically like three to five years. So let's do the last six years. Um, if you go down to, here we go, the NACE code. So we're going to input in 561710. There it is, exterminating pest control. And let's go do it a little bit more 
Now uh, specific, oh, I hit the wrong one. All right, so we want, what is that? F105. Do I need to put a capital F? Perhaps I do. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's do that. And then we hit this submit search. Let's see what we get here. All right, so we got 365 different contracts. So um, that's probably a little too many to try to sort through. So let's, uh, all right, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. So let's do something a little bit more to help us get a little bit more clarity. So North Carolina, let's add that filter. Let's see what we get here. All right, we got eight different contracts. So now one of the things that is also helpful is reading the documentation because they kind of tell you um, when the work is expected to start. And why Why do you think that's important, Lakin? It gives you a good idea on when the, uh, the period of performance end date might be on the incumbents contract. Correct. So it's going to be a fixed price one year uh starting on february 1. i'm sorry uh january 31. so let's take a look at let's sort by the end date here all right that that was the start date wasn't it that's not what it, oh it was the end date all right hey look at that 131 let's take a look at this one sustainable pest systems inc oh hey and what do you know they uh, actually had it in <laughs> Well, we could have saved ourselves a lot of time by looking at that first, right? But uh, wait a minute. Total cost is 863K. Um, so why does it say 210 or three transactions? They might have they might have a different contract there. Yeah. So let's oh, you know what? I hit the wrong button. So let's hit the contract button. And so we got a five year pop. We got our codes here. Okay, 863. Oh, look at that. So that's the exact same amount as the incumbent. So they basically are saying that they are not willing to pay any more than they're already paying the incumbent. So let's take a quick look at some details of the incumbent. Uh, Sustainable Pest Inc., there's their unique ID. Uh, Lakin, do you remember what used to be the unique ID in SAM.gov? The, uh, instead of the UEI, it used to be their, uh, their DUNS. Yep, the Duns. So the Duns was replaced, what, I think April of last year, and it kind of created a uh, a big technical challenge on the end. So if anybody was registering in SAM the last six months, you can, you'll can you know what we're talking about because it was uh, a pain. So uh, we've got some you know information. We got they're a small disadvantaged business, a woman-owned business, so on and so forth. They're, they're based in Raleigh. Um, so Raleigh, while it is in North Carolina, it's nowhere near Jacksonville. So um, one of the things that that I like to do, and you know, my uh, my corporation uh, PTW is to look for local businesses to go after contracts. So uh, currently, we're looking for a pest control company on the east side of the state, not in Raleigh, to go after this contract. So if you need any assistance uh, in bidding contracts, contact John Barker PTW Solutions. If you ever need help with um, with my gov tracks and exploring the government market in a very quick and easy way, you need to contact Lake and Kennedy. Lakin, anything to add? Um, you know, I uh, I don't think so. I think that's about it. Right on, man. Well, uh, we bid you adieu. Y'all have a great day. Peace.